Oh my god! Because... Oh! Oh, beautiful, baby! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so risky, bro! He could have gotten headshotted there, dude! Yo, big shout out to Sade, one of the heaviest grinders of Arena Breakout right now, for giving me full access to this insane Armory gameplay footage. In this video, not only will I react to his gameplay, I'll also analyze it, then break it down for you guys to learn from. And somewhere in the video, I also gave him a crazy challenge in which he accepted. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Yo, my guy doesn't even look at the map, bro. Popping painkiller straight away. Gotta get in that habit. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice movement. Popping endurance straight away. Jesus. This guy. Bro. Oh, 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 look at that warming up. You know for a fact that when someone just runs straight through, arm, uh, through armory without opening his map, knows what he's doing. This is confidence right from the start. Look at this. He doesn't even look around. He just knows where to look. He just knows where to run. And where the spawn locations are. Oh, here we go. I heard a shot. He knows there's a... Sp the, 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 that's a camping spot. He knows people are camping there. He just knows the spot. Stop hiding. Ah, here we go. Opens the door. Scopes in straight away. Oh, nice aim. Oh, he didn't see that. He missed that. Oh, that could have cost him. I wonder why he's not going straight into the bunker first, though. Oh, I think he knows there's people here. He's actually going for the fight straight away. Oh, look at this angle, though. Oh, my God. Look at that. That was beautiful. Oh, cooking the nade. Oh, no, he didn't even cook it. Wait, did he cook it? No, he didn't. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. He's so aggressive, bro. Okay, so pay attention to what he did here, guys. He killed that one guy, didn't loot him, leaves the room, and before he leaves the room, he closes the door. So what I think he's tried to do there is he set a trap. So he made it look like there is a solo that's gone into the room, closed the room, tried to fight the bots, died there on his own. He made it look like someone's trying to camp in that room because he closed the door behind him, right? Just one person. So what he's done, killed that guy, rotate it back out so if there's anyone that goes into that room they're probably going to close the door and then they're going to go and loot the body that he left in there unlooted setting him up for a perfect ambush attack see popping painkillers even though the painkillers hasn't worn off yet you gotta get in that habit guys always keep your painkillers working yeah so the other thing that he doesn't want to do is fight the bots because there's just too many there's a lot of bots inside the bunker so if he tries to fight those bots he's gonna take a lot of damage it's gonna take a lot of time it's gonna make a lot of noise and it's gonna it's just gonna attract all the people to third party him so what he's doing instead is he's getting all the people to do the work for him and then maybe he's gonna come in later on and third party and finish off the real players and there won't be any bots left or there won't be that much bots left inside the uh, inside the bunker very, very clever. He's letting others fight the bots. Exactly. Oh, right, let's see his, um, his accuracy. Kobe! Kobe! Did he just clear that entire room? Look at his angle, though. Oh my god. Nades are so important, man. Nades does a lot of work. It allows you to push. Because... Oh! Oh, beautiful, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. He just cleared an entire room. He dropped three people in this exact room right here, guys. Beautiful use of grenades. Because not only they're going to be damaged. They're going to be... They're going to have, like, broken limbs. They're going to have... Deafened, they're gonna be deafened. Those enemies are absolutely destroyed before he even walked in there and shot his gun. Using stealth mode. His hip fire accuracy is really good.
He's so patient, bro. He's so patient. And look at this, guys. He hasn't even looted once. Not a single time has he even checked any bodies, any cabinets for loot. Because it's too risky. Looting is the thing that makes you the most vulnerable in this game. Look at that! He doesn't even go for the he doesn't even go for the ego push. Looks like end of line for you. Yeah, see? He hasn't even finished that bot. But because he didn't want to take too much damage, he didn't bother finishing it. He didn't manage, he didn't bother going back out to peek. Because he knows that if he peeks again, that bot's already pre-aiming and it will shoot as soon as he peeks out. So this is someone who knows the mechanics of the game. This is someone who knows AI behavior. So as King once told me before in chat, he said that if you peek twice, you get shot by the bot. Because that's just how they work. And the fact that he couldn't finish the bot on the first round of his shots, he didn't bother peeking again. It's too risky and it would cost him too much. That's the thing about playing solo. You don't have to rush to loot. But if you're playing with a team, you'll want to loot because of teammates stealing your loot. Oh, oh, now he's broken. Now he's broken. All right, he's healing, he's healing. Oh, look at all these winnings, guys. Oh, that 1x, 4x scope, though. Oh, that 6x scope. Woohoo, baby. He did bring a bag, okay. Bots are predictable. Exactly. He knows the mechanics of the bots. So this is one thing that you need to know about going into Armory. You also need to understand the basic bots AI. He actually told me that in the DM. So he's been he's been teaching me how to understand the game a little bit better. And one of the things that he said was, you really need to understand bot AI behavior. Ooh, that hydraulic wrench. I've not seen that before. He does that trick that I do as well when he's looting. So he'll press the loot button and then he'll move behind cover. So as, as soon as he goes behind cover, the loot box will appear and he'll be behind cover and he'll be able to, to loot safer. So that's a mechanic that you guys need to learn. I'm going to put that in my next tips and tricks. Basically, you have like a one second window from when you press the loot button. You can actually move for another second and then you'll be able to reposition yourself in time for looting. But you can't move too far. Because otherwise, it won't let you loot the actual body. So you can you can move like maybe half a foot, just like a little little shimmy to the to the, to the behind the cover, for example, and then you'll be able to loot in a better position. Look at that! He's, he's using his um he's using his scope to freaking find out what the bots are wearing. That's actually insane. It's just these little things. Oh, he's he's looking for the scope. I think he's gonna take that scope off. He doesn't want to loot yet though because he hears voice lines. See, look. See that? That's exactly what I was talking about. He'll press the loot button and then he'll move. Oh, he's actually a real player. Oh, someone's triggered it. That means someone's going to come out. Look at that, sneaking around. He knows the enemies are either rotating out or rotating in. But do bear in mind, some people actually activate the alarm just, just for bait. Just to actually activate the bots. Just, uh, just to actually bring out the bots outside. To keep all the other players busy and distracted. Apparently, using the sneak button doesn't show the indications on the enemy's compass. I actually didn't know about that. Oh, he's going... Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, he's so aggressive. Wait, was that a bot? I don't think that was a bot. I think that was a real player. Yeah, it's a real player. He's so particular on what... Um, he's so particular on what he carries as well. So he doesn't even have a secondary gun in his secondary slot yet. Even though... 
He got shot on the right, but he didn't even flinch. He didn't even look to the right. I wonder why, why that is. Maybe because he knew it was a bot, and I'm not sure. But... Yeah. Ooh! Yeah, he's just mechanically good, like... Nice. Oh my god, look at his movement, bro. He's just so... He's so precise and particular. With where he points. Beautiful. Yeah, his mechanical skills, his general movement, really, really good. This is someone with a lot of time in the game. 100%. So basically, what I was saying is that... He doesn't just pick up any secondary weapon. He's saving that for whatever he has his mind set on picking up. Because he doesn't want to slow himself down. So what people are trying to do, including myself right now, is just picking up everything that he can and then replacing it later. But with people like Sade, he knows what he wants to get. And he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't waste space. He doesn't waste weight just to pick up a, 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 a weapon just for the sake of picking it up. Because he knows it will slow him down, right? So right now, he's not, he's not overweight. Now he is. So he was saving that, that, that bit of space. So he can actually run around a little bit better. Might be weight or confidence with a gun. No, what I'm saying is, this is someone who doesn't need a secondary gun. It, that, that's, that's irrelevant. That's not the point that I was trying to make. So the, the, the point that I was trying to make was... Oh my god, holy mother of peeking. Really good peeking right there. Jesus, really good use of pillar. See, he even knows where to position himself in this in this room, in every room. Because he ran specifically to this spot of the room. Specifically to use the pillar if he needed it. And he needed it. Oh, look at that 6x goal. My guy is pushing without painkillers, bro. Holy crap. He's just that confident. He doesn't need painkillers. See, look at this. His bag is only half full. Because he knows he doesn't want to be he doesn't want to become too overweight. You know what I mean? I bet this is someone who can confidently run an MP5 with dum dum rounds in uh, in an armory. You know what? I'm actually gonna challenge him. I'm gonna challenge him and say, I want to see you. Do an MP5 dum dum round armory run and see how it goes. And maybe I might react to that again. That would be sick, right? I mean, I think that could still be viable in armory because we don't have the um, the leg protection yet like they do in CN already. So I think that could be viable, but he just needs to play that really well, I think. Recommend me a nade specifically for flushing out campers looters. Use tear gas, bro. Or just use the M or just use the um, the MK grenade. MK grenade's got really good shrapnel, but it's not as effective as tear gas flushing out campers because sometimes they could still be hidden behind like a table or a, or a desk, for example, or a, or or a cabinet, and the shrapnel might not hit them. But if you got a tear gas, that thing is freaking huge AOE, and that's gonna force them to actually move from where they are. So in certain situations, shrapnel shrapnel um, grenade is, is a better. Um, but if you want to just purely flush them out, then use a tear gas. This is what you guys need to learn how to do as well, by the way. Leave a rig open in your backpack so you can put more stuff inside it. Because right now, they haven't patched it yet. This is something that they're going to patch in the future. But yeah, you can have rigs open in your backpack and you can put more stuff in it because rigs take less space but provide more space. Like, it's so good at inventory management. Look at this, man. This is... This is something that you don't get unless you put a lot of time in the game. So there's one thing about being a good fighter and winning your fights and having good rotations and camping spots and patience and stuff, mechanical skills. But this is another skill that you need to develop in the game. Efficient looting. So that doesn't just mean looting fast. It's how to loot fast, how to save space, what to carry, where to put it, how to Tetris it. So this is, a, this is also a skill that we all need to have. Oh, 
Here we go. Stop the enemy. He's drinking water even though he doesn't need it. But he doesn't want to. Oh, baby. There's no escape for you. See, he should have stayed behind the pillar there. Maybe, maybe because he doesn't, he didn't want to get shot in that window, so he went closer to the wall, because he thought the bots were rotating inside the room to his left, where he just killed that second bot. So he didn't want to get pinged behind that pillar, from that window, which was a bit of a gamble. That didn't pay off, and sometimes gambles don't pay off. Say it is in chat. Yo, it's good, bro. Did you see the mind games? I did say, I did, bro. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, we're even, we, we're even. Just analyzing how you loot, how you do your Tetris, where you put your items, what items you pick up, and how you didn't pick up a secondary weapon for a long time to conserve space and wait until you got into this room after you've cleared the whole the, the whole outside out. You see me? I would be full. <laughs> I would be full within the first 10 minutes of the game thinking, oh, I need to get rich. Oh my God, bro. Jesus. What's going on with my hand cam? Here you go. See, look, he's not peeking. See, he knows, he knows not to peek again too soon. Because if you do, if you peek once and the bot doesn't shoot, that means when you go out of the corner, they're already aiming. But you got to give him time to reset because otherwise they're going to shoot you as soon as you pop out, right? So he waited a little bit, reset the bot and then peek back out to kill the bot. One more day for iOS. What? Where did you get that info from? Peek twice and they pop your arm? Exactly, bro. And I just blew myself up testing the off grenade. It does ignore armor and F up your inside. Simply the best grenade. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good grenade. But in certain situations, in certain situations, the MK2 is a better grenade. Because of the shrapnel. Has he gotten anything? I don't think he's gotten anything expensive yet. Like super expensive yet. He's getting quite a few good stuff though. See that guys? Straight. Straight into the um straight into the, the rig in his backpack. Ooh, gold watch. Hello. Hello. Straight into the safe. Hey yo! Hey yo! That's a nice little rotation trick, isn't it? That's a very nice rotation trick. He's going to drop everything there. Oh my god, bro. This guy, dude. This guy. Because he already knows that there's probably no real players here, right? So he's probably cleared the whole place out. So he just knows. He doesn't need those rigs in his, in, in his body. Is this going to slow him down way too much? Should we freaking drop them on the actual lifeboat? That's crazy. Ooh, gem necklace. Let's go. Wait, was that a red key card? Yo, hold on. Was that a red key card, guys? I don't want to rewind it because it will rewind too far back. I think that was a red key card. Oh, my goodness. Oh my god, this oh my lord, these loot, bro. Come on. Yeah, it's a red key card. Weapon room, it said. Yeah, red key card. Oh my days. Guys, how much do you reckon he's gonna extract with in this game? I wanna see it, chat. How much is he going to extract with when he extracts? Over a mil? Come on, you gotta be more specific than that, bro. Jesus. Over 2.2, 1.3. Oh, Jesus, lordy. 1.5, 1.8, 3.2. Well, his best is 1.4. This is a very good run. Super, super efficient run. Oh, he used the key card. Hey, yo.
Jesus! And it takes everything off the safe space. Takes off the stock. Drops the gun itself. Good lord, bro. Now, at this point, this guy knows how much what sells. So, he knows that the VSS is, is worth... Ooh, ooh. Oh, that was risky. Yo, that was incredibly risky there. He had no choice. He was going to get pinched by that bot on the other side. So we had no choice but to rush the bot that he just killed. Now that, you can only do if you have the, the mechanical skills and the confidence to back it up. He's got all the key cards and armory. Lifeboat. Jesus. You can remove the grips of the guns to save space. Correct. Magazines and grips. He doesn't even bother going to finish them. He's so heavy right now. Oh, he doesn't have that much bullets. Did he bring any? Uh, did he bring any extra mags? Here we go. E70 kg plus, yeah, bro. So heavy, you can't even sprint anymore, yeah, dude. Half left. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Hey, move me nearby. He just knows where to look. He just knows where they're gonna spawn. Oh! Oh! picks everything up oh man this is so intense what's it gonna do yeah he really wants that VSS doesn't he it's more expensive. It's probably easier to sell as well. He's putting everything in the rig. Oh my god, this inventory management though. He's literally doing his inventory management in the actual extract. Waiting for that extract to, to run down. So not only is he being efficient, he needs to be very quick as well. He just needs to, you know, he needs to have a quick mental capacity to actually reorganize everything in his in his personal freaking backpack to carry it back out while while extracting do you know how much pressure this is guys this is someone who's done this run plenty of times hundreds of times maybe even thousands who the hell knows Oh, that's so risky, bro. He could have gotten headshotted there, dude. He's getting pushed, man. I think he's I think he's totally maxed out. Like he's he's fully, fully maxed out. Ten seconds.
Jesus Christ, bro. What the heck? 1.8 mil, dude. Yo. 1.8, though, guys. Holy snaps. Yo, Rebel, um... Ravel got it exactly. Look at that. 1.8. Jesus. We're going we're gonna to leave the screen there.